So it looks like it'll be another fairly quiet year, at least for Kingdom Hearts 4. But I think with the silence of potential Kingdom Hearts 4 trailers, we might actually be setting up for Kingdom Hearts 4's press run sooner rather than later. Hopefully. Let's not forget that we still have Kingdom Hearts Missing Link very close on the horizon, I think. Welcome back, y'all. This is your girl, Empower Views, and today we're going to talk about how the state of Kingdom Hearts is looking for the rest of 2024. So I think quite a lot of us were expecting some news or updates specifically for Kingdom Hearts 4 this year, especially because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth released within the first quarter of this calendar year. And I think that a lot of people were expecting to have Kingdom Hearts Missing Link in their hands by this time this year. But if we're taking a realistic look on just when we might see another Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, I'm guessing we might not see one until either the Game Awards later this year or at the end of this year or starting next year in early spring. And this is essentially based on what all occurred this summer so far. We got a somewhat last minute deconfirmation from Jeff Gilly that there wouldn't be a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer at the Summer Game Fest this year. And honestly, I think Summer Game Fest would have been an optimal time to release a new Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer since it would essentially fall in line with how Square released the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer the year before to kick off Rebirth's promotion cycle. But honestly, I wanted to wait a bit before making this video to see if there would be any hint or news at Disney's D23 Expo this year, since historically there have been Kingdom Hearts trailers released at D23. And while there was a gaming showcase during that weekend, it essentially revolved around new Disney skins in Fortnite. So basically, both Summer Game Fest and Disney's D23 came up with duds for both Kingdom Hearts 4 and Missing Link for those of us who were expecting news this summer. So that said, I'm not really expecting Kingdom Hearts 4 to show up at the Tokyo Game Show this year. Maybe a little something for Missing Link if we still haven't gotten updates by then, but also the Kingdom Hearts franchise and fan base is quite large and has gotten even larger since the Kingdom Hearts series was released on Steam this summer. So it's also not out of the realm of possibility that we get some type of trailer or update or announcement on what seems to be a random day from the Kingdom Hearts promotional accounts. And overall, this again is what I think is basically commentary on the state of game development at this point in time. Kingdom Hearts 4 will likely be quite a large game with at least 30-ish hours of gameplay, but the world building and assets for the Lost Master Arc will likely add a bit more time to Kingdom Hearts 4's development time. And the same can be said for Missing Link. We likely haven't seen much since the soft pre-registration coming soon announcement on its page because the mobile game is not only a new story with the OG Scala at Kylum being built, but it's also an action RPG with the GPS function. Not to mention the characters and assets to Missing Link are developed on a 3D plane as opposed to a 2D animated plane. So we are very much still sitting in the let the devs cook phase, at least until they feel ready to release updates and or a fresh new trailer with the appropriate timing. Not to mention we're also in the middle of a strike with the SAG-AFTRA video game voice actors, so that may also cause some slight delay based on what negotiations bring and at what stage a game like Kingdom Hearts 4 was in by the time the union authorized a strike to take place earlier this summer. But all of that said, we hopefully won't be sitting in this phase for too much longer. And this is mainly because Kingdom Hearts 4 might be slated to be the next AAA game to be released by Square Enix. So while 2024 seems to be another quiet year for Kingdom Hearts, there's still a decent chance that we might get Missing Link's release this year. And the start of Kingdom Hearts 4's promotional cycle towards the end of this year or the beginning of next year. This would actually bring the development cycle for Kingdom Hearts 4 up to 7 years if it is the case that the dev team started working on Kingdom Hearts 4 in 2019, shortly after Kingdom Hearts 3's release, and plans to release the game at some point in 2026. Additionally, with Kingdom Hearts 4 being the beginning of an entirely new arc, the Lost Master arc, this probably took a bit more time for Kingdom Hearts 4's development cycle, depending on just how much of the Lost Master arc Director Nomura aimed to write by the time the first teaser trailer was released, and by the time he and the team might have planned to release Kingdom Hearts 4 as the next numbered title. So what I'm guessing is that the initial release for Kingdom Hearts 4 will take a bit longer from announcement to release than what we're used to, but the release for the games after Kingdom Hearts 4 won't take as long because they've at least already been written and possibly had some sort of skeleton development by the time Kingdom Hearts 4 is released. That said, I think there's a fairly good chance that we'll see Kingdom Hearts 4's promotional cycle in 2025 for a potential release date of early to mid-2026. But of course, this is all dependent on potential delays, especially with the SAG after a voice actor strike impending gratification, as well as other potential scheduling conflicts that may come up. 
So overall, I don't think we'll have to wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 that much longer, but I do think that the dev team needs a little more time to really cook and produce a great start to the Lost Master arc. Perhaps we'll get news sooner than we think, but fans' concerns with the silence since the teaser trailer in 2022 has been quite understandable. So here's to hoping we'll hear an update pretty soon. But I want to hear from you, so let me know what you think about the wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 and Missing Link in the comments below. If you want to explore some more Kingdom Hearts theories, I'll be linking another Kingdom Hearts theory video here in the end screen. And as always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more Kingdom Hearts content. And if there's anyone who may have questions about what to expect for the upcoming Kingdom Hearts games, be sure to share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.